Thank you very much. We appreciate it. Let's see. Uh, uh, I'll let it out of uh, 10B, make the dead transit. We should have put that up under 810. Uh, been brought to my team, I think some other members too. And I've left him a bit voice, voice message today. I don't think we ought to be micromanaging departments as a, as a board. But it's been brought to my attention and asked if we could have a public discussion on this. And the Nanahale Hiking Club mentioned it earlier, and I talked to him about it some time before. And I said, hey, don't do this or any of that. Just bring it up for discussion. But the issue of running, making transit buses to the trailhead up to Wyman Stair Gap, we have two, have two uh, tax cab services, Ron Haven, and I think some other people now are providing that in the private sector. And my qu the question was posed to, posed to me, and I questioned this board, is this something that we need to be doing with public transportation, competing directly with the private sector for a service that's been handled for 20 years? Uh, do they do the service and charge for that? So do they make a copy from that? Oh, yes. Yes. I don't know what the structures are. The taxis, there's only two taxi cab companies, uh, and then Ron Haven, and I think some other people were doing it illegally. I understand now the Forest Service is up there mm -hmm. trying to stop it. You've got to buy a permit. $300 permit. There's, or what there's, is? A, there's a permit. And yeah, just to go up all people. But my question is, should we be competing with established private sector businesses? I think the question is going to be, should we be providing taxpayer money to do this? I hear your question. That's a, that's a different angle, yeah. That's what that's what they are talking about. <coughs> you charge these folks in and go get them? Is it profitable? Is it profitable? Yeah. Yeah. Um, we charge the same rate. It is part of our general public um, service that we do. We were approached by some residents and, and business members asked us if we would do this for this year, and um, we felt like it was a good support for bringing economic development. I mean, obviously, public transportation and economic development go hand in hand. As long as we can bring, you know, bring people in. Um, I had not been aware that there had been any real problems with it. Um, we have seen Mr. Haven, my driver, had several conversations with him. Didn't have, he actually talked about coordinating next year the vehicles together to, to make sure that we are offering the best service with everybody who can provide the service. Discuss that actually with my operations supervisor who was up there just a couple of weeks ago. Um, so, you know, we have not had any ill will expressed toward us. When we get up there, if the hikers have made arrangements with another transportation provider, whomever is allowed to be, you have to ride with the other person. So, there, there's no requirement that the general public, anybody who wants to go from Franklin to the trail and hike for the day, can do so get back on the vehicle in the afternoon and come back. So, I mean, it's, it's a general public limited time service. We only intend to do this for about two and a half more weeks. So it's only about a six-week service. And like I said, I was approached. But the reason we kind of decided to do it is because we just, again, felt like it was it was good for the businesses that were, were approaching us with, would you be willing to help us out to bring people in so that they can spend money in Franklin? take these folks to the businesses they request in? We try to bring, I mean, you know, if they ask to go to a specific hotel, if they ask to go, mostly what we get is the budget, Sapphire, and Microtail. Um, we also will drop them off uptown. Um, I think there's somebody that has a hostel, maybe on Broadtown over there, we can drop them off. So yeah, we'll take them, you know, we kind of started out with, no, we're only going to drop off at one place, but we try to be on the holiday. It's three dollars each way, which is which you know if if we didn't if we charged a premium there, it would not be 
a part of our general public service. Uh, it, that's what we heard everybody. So, I mean, we can't say, okay, because we're going with this spot, unless we start doing that with everybody. So the trailhead's, you know, 15 miles away. So if somebody lives in, in Cowie, 15 miles out of town, we would have to try to do in the same direction. So then you start getting into a lot of complicated issues. And, and, and I just feel like that's unfair service.
the gym, fountain gym, uh, and run around there. So we have a broader discussion about what I think what we're saying.